Gender-like theory proposes that there are separate languages based on gender. The core of this theory explains how different sets of linguistic features used by males and female develop through the gender acculturation process. Deborah Tannen coined the term gender lack to describe the way that the conversation of men and women are not right and wrong, superior and inferior, they are just different. Another way language is used to define men and women is through the slang terms commonly used to refer to one sex or another. What are some common ones you hear on your campus and within your circle of friends? Are women chicks? Are men dudes? According to Shrat Akhtar, the use of language is different between men and women in case of vocabulary, in voice and tone, in syntactic structure and style, and in conversational style. In each of the single part, gender differs in a great extent. In every sphere of our life, the difference is being noticed while using a language. The following scenarios will show how language of men and women are different from each other, which what Deborah Tannen's gender-like theory mainly proposes. Disclaimer! The scenes portrayed in this video are just examples of the observed differences between men and women in terms of speech, but not a generalization nor stereotypes. Each and every one is unique and beautiful. Wiba, nyaman daw mangan. Nyaman ngulam. Nyaman ma. Ing sabo, malaso, ni balamo ko nya lang ang pusit pero manyaman naman. Men tend to answer questions briefly and direct to the point. Women are more detailed in answering, just like how the girl described the taste and texture of the food before saying that it is delicious. Women also use hedges like sort of, kind of, like in the video, the woman use oning balamu. Uy, manano kasi? Sa susu nga ako. Sis, natin kong problema. Ika na ako kasi itong crush ko. Ala akong sulod ng masanti na sapatos. Maka nalang kaya kanina. Muko, sis. Pabebe ka pa niya. Padiretso. Tara, parang hindi ka. Sipo niya. Pare, ang dalang sapatos mag-date kaya mong yung private. Ay, pare, man, tumukang mandam. Sino mo? Men language is always expected to be direct, whether in answering or asking for a request. Also, men do not hesitate in rejecting a request. Lack of claimed that women's language often use weak directives or indirect requests, just like how the woman in the video couldn't ask directly for a favor. Ay, 1.15 niya, abu! Dinala nga yung muda. Ano pa kanya niyam? Ay, ne, tita. Masanting niya, o. Masanting niya, telo. O, na yung ketang ikit ko, ketang kabila. Halo pa niya naman yun, eh. 1.20 niya, mo, eh. Pero bala, mas masanting niya yun, eh. Palagyan mo. Teh, mo po direksyon daw, kasi sige, 1.20 niya, mo, kaya ko. This is another example of how men use direct language. This example shows that women use indirect speech even when buying things or asking for a discount. But even without asking it directly, another woman can understand because they share the same language. Hey, bre, kapalayan. Naam ta? Okay, kumu, ika. When seeing each other in public, men will approach and notice each other 
without showing much excitement. Lakoff claimed that women often speak in a high-rising intonation or also known as up-talk or up-speak to make the tone more interesting. Yes, this is Converging Internet Solutions. How may I help you today? Hello, madam. Pwede kayo yung report ng internet mo yung huwag na naging alam ng internet kong yakson? Mga nanuyang dito? Yes, sir. Vacation po. Yes, hello. This is FLDT Internet Solutions. How may I help you today? Hello. O nanu, nang balak yu. O tara kaming connection na pun po. Uh, Magano na pamorengan ako. Umakanyang kayo. Ayaw po ma'am. Ano ano pong location do? Makanya ni Servisyo yu. Awa po ma'am. Ing location nyo po? Eh? Teko po man nyara? Look. We have seen on the video that the man used the language cautiously despite of his emotions. The woman expressed what she feels about the problem and makes her use inappropriate language. Kasi nakiting bi eh. Bi pati ako kami ng wali ko. E ako bali ng gawin ko. O siyempre, shakta niya kayo ba? Mo, tutuman. Ayun, kung balo na ako lang ka ako, pero naglakwa na ako pa rin. Magtura ko, Ari! Kapalit balit ko, Ari! Sis, sis yung nakaya ka yan. Ay, adyo mo yan. Ika pa! Makanta! So, bakit? Ba't naglakwa na ako pa rin? O, makanta ayo! Hmm, let's go. The man simply asked his friend to drink to release the pain he's feeling. That's how the man tell his friend that he's willing to listen to his problems. If we observe, the man who has problems did not tell his friend in exaggeration. Instead, he's calm and yet the pain is evident. The woman gives her advice on the spot and willing to comfort her friend with emotions involved. On the other hand, the woman with problems keep on saying what she feels, and that's her way of releasing the pain, even questioning her word. Some women tend to ask questions when they are going through something. Puro nga nga sabi mo ngayon ba akong jacket? Santing niya. Ano yung santing? Ano yung santing yung mahalan mo? Sis, bagay kaya ba? Uy! Kabagay mo sis, kasunting na pala, doon may asali yun. Wala nang baka niyan sis. The man plainly answered his friend that this jacket is good, but not so much reaction was expressed. Other men usually say positive things instead whenever they can't answer the question being asked to them. The woman uses language that shows interest in answering the question. She even asks her questions to keep the conversation alive. Women usually answer positive things that would make their friends comfortable and confident. Malambat na ng buri eh. Mayari kang maglalo? Ikang isipan ko, Adordo. Na? Anong buri mo sabihin? Ako'y patutod. Ako'y makapangal. Na? Ate, pa kasi diretso yun. Malwata ng mikaluguran. Kanya mo kong intention, dyan ating kutop. Ano-ano? The man is very direct with his confession, never minding what will be the answer. The woman was very indirect with her confession and that made the man confused. This proves that women's speech is indirect while men is direct according to Mary Crawford. <laughs>